tricks in this video we are going to study about the standard units of measurement we will study that what is unit of measurement why it is important what are the qualities of the unit of measurement and what are the different standards units of measurement so let us start with our topic <music> understand that what is the unit of measurement unit of measurement it plays a very important role for the physical quantities because if we want to measure anything like suppose if we want to measure the length of something if we want to measure the weight of any amount or if we want to measure that how heavy it is okay how heavy it is how long it is so for everything we will do some type of measurement and whenever we are doing any measurement we specify our result in the form of a number and a unit okay so any physical quantity like length mass temperature anything any physical quantity which we are measuring that will have some unit of measurement let's for example we are measuring the length of a rod and we found out that the length of the rod is 5 meters so meter is the unit of measurement okay and 5 is the number so we are taking 1 meter as the standard unit of measurement for length and if we are specifying the length of the rod as 5 meters it means that the length of the rod is 5 times this standard unit of measurement of length okay so it is 5 times the 1 meter length which is the standard unit for the measurement of length so we know here that uh, whenever we are measuring any physical quantity we have to specify the result of that measurement in terms of the unit we have to specify that what is the unit of that physical quantity and the number by which the quantity which we have measured okay so just like uh, we specify the we know that any person is identified by his name okay by his or name so just like that the physical quantity it is identified with the unit of measurement so uh, that was the example for the length of the rod i uh, suppose if we are measuring the distance between two trees okay so that distance is coming out to be supposed to 20 meters the distance is coming out so we can say that just the magnitude is changing whenever we are measuring that physical quantity but that unit of measurement remains the same okay magnitude keeps on changing but unit remains the same for the physical quantity now we will study the qualities of the units of measurement the first quality is that the unit of measurement should be invariable this means that whenever we are measuring that physical quantity it unit remains the same irrespective of the time place or the location that where the measurement is being done 
suppose that we are measuring the distance between two trees then we are measuring the distance between two cities we are measuring the length of a rod we are measuring the length of a ladder okay so all these cases we are measuring the length of something okay now uh, suppose that uh, here i have me i am measuring the length of a rod now i have gone to my home and there i started measuring again the length of the rod so every time i am measuring the length the at different time at different place okay so the unit will not going to change so unit should be in variable of the time and place of measurement because no matter at what time at what place i am measuring the length of the rod it will come out to be 5 meters only so unit of measurement should be in variable the second quality is that the unit of measurement should be reproduced it means that the unit it should be easily copied and it should be easily recoverable and easily available at every place okay like suppose i am measuring the length of the rod at some place if i am if i am measuring the same length of the rod at some other place so readily that unit of measurement should be available to us okay like meters it is available and it is taken as a standard in all the countries so it should should be reproducible also it should be universally accepted because there are so many countries in the world so every country is having some specific standards for the measurement so uh, suppose that i am saying that this length of this rod is 5 meters and some american he is saying something different so the length of the rod remains the same it is not going to change but the method of expressing that length is different for the two persons okay so we should keep the unit of measurement should be universally accepted that every person who is doing the measurement he will assign he or she will assign the same unit for that measurement if i am measuring the length of the rod then i will also give it the unit of meters if some other person living in other country is measuring the same length of the rod then he will also specify the unit as meters so meter is expected as the standard unit of measurement for the length so the unit should be universally accepted by all the countries around the world so these are the qualities which are expected from the units of measurement now let's see that what are the types of units of measurement now there are two types of units of measurement one is the fundamental and other is the derived units okay the difference between fundamental and derived unit is that fundamental units are also called the basic units of measurement all the other units of the physical quantities they will be expressed in terms of the fundamental units so we can also say that fundamental units we can take the example suppose that there are many persons which are having common names okay so just like that there are many physical quantities which are having the same units of measurement but it is not possible that every physical because it's not possible that for every physical quantity we are assigning the different different units for the measurement so we take or there are seven quantities seven physical quantities for which the units have been assigned and these are called the fundamental units okay now all the other units of the other physical quantities they will be expressed in terms of these seven fundamental units okay so fundamental these seven fundamental units are the basic units of measurements which cannot be expressed in terms of some other unit 
so i said that there are seven fundamental units which are length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity and amount of substance so for suppose length we are having meters okay for mass we are having kilograms for time we are having seconds for temperature we are having kelvin for electric current ampere or luminous intensity its unit is candela and for amount of substance we are having liters so these are the different different fundamental units of measurement now the derived units they are those units which can be expressed in terms of these fundamental units okay so all the other physical quantities which are having the, the units they are expressed in terms of the seven fundamental units okay now as i have said that uh, there are different countries and every country is having some specific standard for the measurements okay so uh, the units of measurement they should be universally accepted by all the countries okay so there are uh, different categories for these uh, units and these categories are called the systems of units so now we will study the systems of unit there are four systems of units called the cgs mks fps and the si systems of unit cgs means centimeter gram and second mks means meter kilogram and second and fps foot pound and second so that is the full form of these systems in these system that is in cgs system the standard unit for the measurement of length is centimeter for weight is the or we can say for mass is the gram and for time is second whereas in mks for length meter is the standard unit kilogram for mass and second for time in fps foot is for length pound is for mass and second is for time and then we have the standard unit for the that is the international uh, standard for the units okay SI system is there. So as I have said that in the CGS centimeter gram and second is there in MKS meter kilogram and second is there and in FPS foot pound and second is there. But nowadays the SI system of units is used. the full form of si is the stand international standards of unit international system of standards and in this international system of standards for length meter is taken as the standard unit of measurement for mass kilogram is taken
and for time seconds is taken as the standard unit of measurement by standard unit we means that whenever we are measuring the physical quantity in any part of the country or in the world we are using the same standard for it okay like we will express the length always in meters we will express mass always in gram we will always use second as the unit for the time so that is internationally accepted by all the countries now this fps system and mks and cgs if we talk about them there are different different countries which are using still using these uh, standards but nowadays the si system is globally accepted as the international standard for the unit of measurement So in this video we studied about the standard units of measurement we saw that what is the unit of measurement why there is a need for specifying the unit for a physical quantity then we saw that what are the types of uh, these units fundamental units and derived units then we also saw the qualities which are expected in the units of measurement and in the last we see the systems of units or the standards which are used for the measurement of physical quantities the fps the mks cgs and the SI systems of units. So I hope that this topic is clear to you. Thank you.